So the European dream is over. Let's try and chase down that elusive second league title, shall we? Starting now. What's up guys, Chasing Lamely here and welcome back to the channel for episode number 54 of Passport to Poland. Uh, in today's episode we're going to be playing our last two games before Christmas in the first half of the season and we'll see how we go from there. You can see all the stats for the season so far on screen. Let's show you what's happened in the games that you've missed. So, uh, the last thing you saw was the 5-1 smashing of Red Bull Leipzig. Uh, we then beat Legia Warsaw 2-0 at home which is a really big game for our season because they are you know our regular title kind of rivals uh, we then beat Pogon in the FA Cup 1-0 uh, Paris Magoma scoring the goal bit of a rotation thing happened with it not a massive rotation but a bit of a rotation thing happened with the team there wasn't our best all-round performance so there's been a few little rotations of the team as well as the little rotations happened in there Against Legia, we also beat Krakowia 1-0 away with Matty Longstaff getting that goal. So today we're playing Brookbeck to Malika and we're playing Pogon in the league. Two home games that will wrap up our games in hand that we've been holding for a while. We are, as you can see, currently top of the league. Nothing that happens can change that in this episode. We'll be top of the league facts at the end of the episode unless we somehow ship nine goals in these two games. Because you can see nothing else is happening in the league until January. So we just have to kind of ease ourselves away and hopefully build that gap. Obviously the other benefit is that Brookbeck to Malika are currently sitting 15th in the league. And we have to play them. Uh, and then we're playing Pogon who sit 11th. So hopefully easy wins. Things have changed with Tamalika though. They fired uh, ZNX Voboda, our old assistant manager. They literally fired him, which was horrendous. But he's left a few of our ex-players behind, I believe. Ramirez, Yestin Hughes, uh, Ahadme, Galliano. They are all still kicking about. There's a few more signed last year as well. Josh Sabowski, Hockenhull, Saunders, I guess, are still around. Um, it looks like they're still around. So we could see a few old friends today. Let's have a quick look, see who's been playing for them recently to see how that all Adds up. Yestin Hughes and Ramirez are ineligible. So is a Hadme. So not only are we playing um, our weirdly sort of rivals, um, they were the first ones to steal the system manager for us, but we're also playing against a lot of our old players. So we're going to know this team. It's going to work out all right. Let's uh, let's get into it though, just to see what's happening. It's been a couple of days. So I've done this. I've had a few computer issues that hopefully I've fixed. Um, I say hopefully I've fixed. We'll see because it could all go wrong. And have a quick look, just make sure we have our strongest 11 in. I say our strongest 11, but clearly Izzy Brown isn't going to play today. So that's not ideal. Um, I'm hoping I've not missed something. Valdemar Liss is not fit. Who do we... We'll shove Bargell in there. Why would we not do that? That works out. That gives us a fairly balanced lineup. So the team today... Um, I say the team today. Let me just have a quick double check. There's nothing I'm missing that I shouldn't be missing because that would be embarrassing if I accidentally don't use a player who is a first choice player. doesn't look like it, right. So, uh, in goal, Sherpen, Williams, Belodi, Gway, Piasek, Finson, Longstaff, Shish, Magoma, Fright and Sterling. I'm guessing there's no one I'm missing that I should be glaringly obvious. I want to put Gomez in, I want to put Divine in. Yeah, it's not changes I need to make. Um, yeah, with Delatka, Devine, Gomez, Rossetti, Deliuc, Bargell, McEachran, Gasca, and Michel Borges on the bench. So let's get into this. Let's get this first game out of the way and see if we can deliver a good old-fashioned battering to Tamalica and uh, see where it goes from there. Because every point we score in this episode is stretching our lead at the top, which is currently, as you saw, goal difference. Uh, let's have a look at their team. Any of our ex-players are playing. It doesn't look like they're starting. Ben Hockenhall has played for us, though. Um, looks like Galliano didn't make the cut, which is interesting, because they were quite desperate to get him. But we might see Ben Hockenhall play against us, which could be an interesting state of affairs. There's no one else who jumps out of being as being one of our ex-players, though. So they're also set up very defensively against us, so we'll see what happens there. Let's get into the game, see what happens. I think 
I'm going to say it'll be a 2-0. I feel like anything beyond 2-0 has been a challenge for us of late. But I think 2-0 is something that's quite achievable. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, So apologies for this video, this video coming out so late today. I actually I usually record a day ahead and then I completely forgot that yesterday was Sunday and then I got super lazy today. So I'm smashing this video out, getting out as far before midnight as I can once it's all edited together. And then immediately recording tomorrow's episode. So we'll see how that plan goes. <laughs> the next episode as well, we'll have John Davis available because his loan will have finished, which would be nice. As Finson picks up the ball for our first highlight of the day. Magoma, we'll see, got ball over to Piershek. Driving rain, got a bright red ball for no reason. Kieran Wright heads it just off the bar. It's close, but we've got ourselves a corner. Let's see how this goes as a plan going forward. Who's taking this corner? It looks like Maddy Longstaff taking the corner. Whips it in. Who's going to get his head to it? It looks like Shish has a go. Back out to Longstaff after some pinball. <sighs> Apparently a carry right at some point in there was offside. So we'll call that the end of the highlight. Let's do some getting creative because that's often the answer to all of our problems. As we've seen so often so far. Currently only stretching our lead by one point which is very disappointing. Not what we wanted to see. Um... I could have rotated the team against Tamalika and I decided not to. I don't know why I decided not to. It just That's just how it worked out. So I guess live with it. <laughs> live with it is the plan. That's a really shocking first half. Let's assertively tell them um, that we're far from pleased because we're far from pleased. Anyone not really performing? Cass Sterling can get a little bit of a digging at because he should be doing better. Um... You, yes. See if he does any shouting. He doesn't do any shouting. He's not a shouter, this assistant manager. He's not the shouter I want. I want someone who's like you'd imagine Roy Keane walking into a dressing room, just kind of ripping people's faces off. At times like this, uh, Kieran Wright with a free kick has a pop. That I don't know what the hell happened there. Look to the from the angle we had. That looked like a Kieran Wright had taken the free kick. The keeper. had Missed it, it had gone in, and then somehow Gway had done something, but then Belodi got the credit for it. So let's see what happened here. Free kicking, keeper's made a save, Gway's had a pop, or not had a pop, but he's squared it, and Belodi's put it away. Either way, it's gone in the net, so we are finally in a lead. But that was a bit weird. Bit of a weird one, but we're, we're going to do more getting creative, though, because it's never, never safe until it's 2 0, and then it's never safe until the whistle goes. That's footballing philosophy for you I understand this game entirely more creative please more creative plus right um, they've got a free kick that's not good it's gone over let's get this clear please good Magoma Magoma has picked it up ball forward big old ball forward to Cass Sterling Cass Sterling what can he do with it can he square it maybe find a carry right in the box it's sort of done nothing but given the ball away Sterling Gets the cross in finally. Doesn't find shit. Piercek to Longstaff. Back to Piercek. Piercek back to Finson to Longstaff to Finson. Bit pinbally. Their player's fallen over. Shish. What's he doing? Ball back to Finson. Back to Longstaff. It's all over the place, but it's not really going forward. Now Williams finally gets the ball forward. Cross in would be nice. I mean, if he hadn't dallied so long, maybe something would have happened. Longstaff needs to do something. Someone needs to get this ball in. Ball into Sterling. Doesn't go anywhere. And now Orchesovsky has managed to clear it. And we've actually achieved less than nothing from that passage of play, if I'm completely honest. Less than nothing. Uh, 64 on the clock. I need to see more goals, more creativity, more something. Um, it's going to be time for a sub because Nico Williams is tiring. So we'll bring on Delatka just to give us the extra option. I'm going to take Matty Longstaff off because he's carrying a yellow card. Um, I feel like we'll give McKechron a chance to build some match fitness. And Keziah Sterling is having an absolute mare. But Rossetti has been scoring recently. So let's see if we can get another goal out of him. Um, weird time to make a triple sub. Weird gamble. I don't know why I did that, but it's done now. So we'll see what happens. Magoma with the corner whips it in to Rossetti at the back post who just heads it straight to Kira. So Rossetti has been starting to show little glimpses of 
being trustworthy recently. And so with Davis coming back, front four wise, we're solid. If we lose a Chiari of right, I've got to find another option, but it's not the biggest loss because the shell will still be about. Gway with a dangerous tackle, that's going to be a penalty, although in fairness, he went down ages after any of our players were near him. Um, Delac has got himself booking, I'm assuming. Um, he didn't get himself a booking, just a talking to. And now they are going to take the penalty. It's Mendy taking it. Let's have a save. Poor, poor, really quite poor. We shouldn't be allowing that to happen. And now we're going to show some passion because that's just disgusting. In fact, we're going to show some passion and we're going to go attacking because we should be doing a number on Tamalika. Just taking one point off them is massively unacceptable, to be honest. Um, I'm going to need to see more than that, I think. Significantly more, ideally. Piershep with a big old tackle. Shish picks up the ball. There, guy's dead. That's a good time. Uh, Piershek back to Gway. We're going to put the ball out into touch, but you'd assume, because their guy is just dead. If we score now, I'll actually feel bad about it, because their guy is definitely... He's he's definitely needs an undertaker. Piershek to a carry right. They've scored. That's a dirty goal. Like I know I say things are dirty all the time, that that doesn't feel good. They think Kushilla is wasting an injury, is faking an injury to waste time. I mean, to be fair, to be fair to them, Piaschek went right through him. We all saw that, and he's been down ever since. And I don't think he's faking that. He could be, because he's had no dip in fitness whatsoever. But also, like this comes up, we just got to go like, bud. The ref's not going to give it to you. You get up and help us defend. So, if he was faking it, you know, I don't feel so bad. But also, come on, bud. Like, there's a certain amount of time where faking an injury is acceptable and for long enough for us to score a goal is not it. But we're taking a 2-1 win, so I don't know why we care. Uh, we're going to play Pogo and Sheshen in a second. We're currently three points clear with a ten-point goal difference advantage. And frankly, this season's more or less over at this point, if we're all completely honest. But, um, you know, let's not count chickens too much. <laughs> he says, having just counted every chicken in the land. Uh, it was a great late goal. Any more silly questions? Piaszczyk's been tipped in with, to be in with a shout of being named Player of the Year. I think he's probably in with a pretty good shout. He's definitely in the conversation. Um... Being accused of stockpiling players, I mean, yes. Uh, it's been no to you, yes. Lots of our goals come from crosses. I mean, lots of our goals come from anywhere. We score a lot of goals. I feel like lots of your goals come from crosses. It's like saying lots of your goals go in the net at this point. Lots of our goals come from absolutely everywhere. Um, also, we've won seven in a row, boys. Seven in a row. Let's not celebrate too wildly, but also seven in a row. Um, right, let's come back for the Pogon game because there's literally nothing else that I need to show you between the two as far as I'm aware. So let's do that. Here we are kids, last game of 2022 and we're playing Pogon Sheshin at home. We're the favourites, we're top of the league, we haven't lost a game in forever. 1-7 on the spin, we're three points clear. What can possibly go wrong now I've said all those things that jinx us? Probably absolutely everything, right. The team, this game, unchanged. Sherpin, Williams, uh, Belodi, Gway, Piaszczek, Finson, Longstaff, Shish, Magoma, Wright, Delatka, Devine, Gomez, Rossetti, Deliuch, Bargel, McEachern, Gasca, Borges. There we go. Nice and straightforward. I didn't check to see if any of our ex-players played for Pogon. I don't remember selling them any, so we're going to assume they aren't there. That feels like the fairest way of doing that. And if they are... We'll spot them. Um, nobody there, as far as I'm aware, has played for us. Uh, Steck fits on some of though. Maybe, maybe I've heard of him from somewhere. I don't know. Let's get into it. Get that six-point lead before Christmas. That's what we need. The best Christmas present of all. A six-point lead and a chance to really show the extra class of who is boss. Um... It's weird actually because I said like Leger are our nearest rivals, but they're actually nowhere this season, so that's a thing. 
A carry of right has got a, a run at goal. If he can cut that into someone, we might be okay. Finds Williams, who's way more inside than normal. Needs to play that ball to someone fairly quick because that's going nowhere. Gets a cross in. Sterling, Kaziah Sterling, beats the uh, beats the last man. I thought that might be offside, but apparently it wasn't offside. So we'll take that, and it will make us all very happy to get a 1-0 very early on in the game. That's what we need. Um, I had a little look at some of the World Cup squads, by the way, and um, I brought in a Qatari winger on trial just to see what the general standard of those players were because he had no contract. And, um, yeah, not good. Also in World Cup news, Italy didn't get out of the group stages. And potentially the job as the boss of the US national team is coming up, which I'm tempted to apply for because I've got most of his national team in my squad at the moment, it feels like. Well, most of his under-23s and under-20s, at least, are in my squad somewhere. So maybe that's a job that we should look at taking. But Lodi's picked up the ball now, though. 17 on the clock. Magoma. What can we do here? Let's get a ball forward. Big ball forward. Doesn't find Nico Williams, but it does find Matty Longstaff eventually. Magoma finally finds Williams. He's got space to run into. Could release someone. Just goes with Longstaff. Now we're playing backwards because that's apparently what we do. Finson. Let's someone, someone get it forward. There we go. Big old ball to Piercek. Piercek picks it up first. Crosses in. Sterling off of Zek. And that's going to be a corner. And let's see what we can achieve by doing this. Um, who's this? Magoma taking the the corner. Gets it over the top. Does Just, just gets cleared. Finton's going to pick it up. Hopefully he does. Although Chukwu... Uh, probably didn't need to make that tackle there, did he? <laughs> it's hard to make an argument that Finson was a threat running backwards. He's not much of a threat running forwards. Uh, Williams... What have we got here? Get a ball across to Finson. Finson out deep. Magoma. Right. Sterling. Kaziah Sterling. Oh. Saved by the keeper. Got ourselves a corner. Things looking fairly solid. That's a good place to be. Magoma. What can you do from the corner? Ball over. Not going, really finding any of our own players, which is not ideal. Right back to Magoma. Magoma maybe another cross in. He's got one, but only as far as... Me, as Militech. Um I'm guessing that was a corner that, did, that went even less anywhere than that last one, which is almost impossible to imagine, quite frankly. But there we go. Apparently you can take a worse corner than Magoma has taken so far in this game. More creativity is going to be the answer, though. Maybe we're actually going to go a bit more attacking, too, because, you know, we're currently playing the team who are sitting 11th. They're a long way beneath us. That bottom three, by the way, is done. Paris Magoma has picked up a knock. That's not ideal, is it? That's not ideal at all. He's suffered a twisted knee. Feels like I should probably bring him off. Says he, it's the sort of thing he should be able to play through. But that sounds kind of painful. Uh, Finson, Longstaff. Back to Finson. Back to Longstaff. I'm very confused because we had rain last time. We were playing with a bright red ball. And now we've got snow and we're playing with a white ball. Go, go figure. Uh, Longstaff plays it through forward to Piercek. Piercek with a cross in. Sterling. Oh, Pinbally again. Pinbally. Lots of pinball. Um, that's half time. We've made it as far as half time. Uh, Paris Magoma is going to be an interesting one to keep an eye on because I should have taken him off already, to be honest. But we'll keep an eye. See how see how far into the game we can get before we have to make that change. Because you know I'd rather. I'd rather have those options saved. Uh, I say have those options saved. We're, we're going to have to make the change, but, you know, pay attention. Piercek picks up the ball. Shish. Big hoof forward to Kaziah Sterling. I struggle to see where the ball was then because it's white and it's snowing. Um, that was a useless cross, but he crossed to himself, apparently. And the keeper has made one of the weirdest saves you'll see all season, which is... Um, Refreshing, I guess. Who's taking this? Is it going to be Magoma again? It is. Go on, beat the first man. Do something extraordinary. He barely beat the first man. Still play it straight to one of their players. And Gway has it deep. Finson. Finson forward to Sterling. Sterling unnecessarily out wide to Magoma, you'd think. But there we go. What can Magoma do? Ball back to Gway. None of our usual wider players seem to be out wide, which is an interesting interesting tactical decision that we've made apparently 
Um, I'm going to make a double sub on the hour, I think. Magoma's going to come off, and so is Nico, because uh, we don't want him getting sent off, quite frankly. So we'll take that. We'll take Nico off. Um, we will take Magoma off, and I think it's going to be my boy, my boy Gasca going in, just in case I need an option of moving to wingers later on. Well, she'd hope I wouldn't, but you know, we've all seen stranger things happen. Uh, let's get creative again, see what occurs, see what decision we need to make later on, I think. And having said that, you know what, it's... We're not set in the world, though, right? Uh... I'm not entirely convinced Rossetti can play as an advance forward, but apparently he can. Uh, we'll give it a go. Why not? We'll give it a go. We're one nil up. We've, we've extended our point, our lead to six points, which is good. Uh, we just need to see more come from it. Grabelny has got a goal kick. Big ball forward. Someone defend that. Danilia, or Delecka, sorry, did some defending. That was a winner. Militic. We've, we've done some defending. We're not taking the ball off. And it's very annoying that I can't change the colour of that ball. Um, Delecka to Gasca to, to Longstaff. Big ball forward finds Rossetti. Rossetti has a pop, but straight at the keeper. Unnecessarily straight at the keeper was not the one we wanted to see there. And now Grabelny has pumped it forward. Let's head that away. Maybe. Belodi. Belodi, what can he do? Ball to Gway. Gway to Shish. Shish. Big old ball forward to Delatka, who's got a chance to make an impression here. What can he do? He gets a cross in. Rossetti. Apparently Rossetti was offside anyway. But even so, poor. I think poor is the adjective I'm going with there. They haven't even had a shot on target yet. That's... We should be absolutely battering them. Let's go very attacking. And let's push forward. And let's see what we can get from this. Because... Just one nil against the team we've dominated is not ideal. It's showing that we're wasting a lot of chances. Like we're getting a lot of shots on target, but they're not being finished. Which is not like nineteen shots on target. We should have had four or five goals, you'd think. A one nil after that is actually quite disappointing. It's it's wasteful, it's wasteful finishing. Apparently everyone's frustrated, which is probably justifiable because I'm frustrated after seeing that. And yeah, um, right, anything in the inbox we need to worry about? Magoma, how long is he dead for? Eight days. Okay, Delatka, he's going to get some more money. We're going to do a press conference. Let's see if anything good comes up. Superb defensive performance, but not one shot on goal allowed. Um, I'm pretty sure they got a shot on goal. Anyway, uh, was his early goal important? Yes, obviously, because it was the only goal. Uh, we've ex we look good, yep. Um, overconference, nope. Piercek is simply faultless. Um, are we concerned by Fury's lack of playing time? Yes. Um, we haven't decided yet. Am I concerned by Callum Park's poor form? Well, he sent him on loan so he could not be in poor form. And we've got the eight straight thing. Also, this I know this happens with everyone, but this is really starting to annoy me now. We've won eight games in a row. Um, we haven't dropped points since... In the league, we haven't dropped points, or sorry, we haven't lost a game since July. We've lost two games all season, and that was the first and th the first two league games of the season we lost. We haven't lost a game in the league all season apart from that. I'm still seeing slash recent good form has led to many fans happily forgetting reports that I was one bad result away from the sack in 2000. It was three years ago. I've won the title since then. I've taken us into Europe twice. I don't think the fans care that I was almost sacked. It was like episode 5 we were almost sacked. Like, we're at episode 54 now. Behave yourself. Absolutely jokes. Anyway, um, before I get wound up by something utterly unimportant, let's wrap up the episode because uh, I need to try and get this uploaded by midnight and it's currently 20 past 11, so sketchy. Um, right, thanks for watching guys. As always, I've been Chasing Lamely. Socials are below. Like and subscribe. I'm going to see you very soon. Have a good one.